high. Um, this is the Eagle 2 from Zoll. Uh, this ventilator can be used in ER or the uh, ER department or intra-hospital transport and even in ICU. So this is 4.4 uh, kilograms. So it is made up of a durable body okay, and a very simple and friendly interface. So it's not just a touch, it's not touch screen but it's just um, a knobs and a buttons. Okay. Some of the features of this uh, ventilator, it has a smart menu, apnea backup, and the use of uh, low flow and a high flow oxygen. So it's, it's also capable of inverse ratio, which is uh, they usually use it for ARDS patients. And it has also a 10 hour battery span. Okay, so the operations for Eagle 2. So first, we have the on and off button. So secondly, we have all the parameters here on the left. So first, the mode. So you press the button that corresponds to the um, the mode that you want and then use the wheel can either be left or right to choose what mode and then accept or select through the check or if not you can cancel it so it would go back to the original mode and then second after the mode you go to either the RR or the BPM or tidal volume, the PIP or PIP, and FIO2. So these are all the basic four parameters. Okay, so it can either be you can either um, set any of these uh, parameters first. Okay, so first mode, okay, RR, tidal volume, the PIP. PEEP or PIP and then the FIO2. Okay, so some of the two extra um, button here will you will use just be used for pulse oximeter if you're going to use as pulse oximeter. Uh, so this feature is just an option. Okay, so we also have the manual breathe button. Okay, so this can be used to um, either um, uh, hyperventilate the patient or during codes and also we have the menu okay so we have now an alarm okay so as you can see okay the alarm is disconnect okay so this is the special feature for this uh, Eagle 2 it shows you the reasons and some of the simple uh, solution for this problem. So this is what we call the smart menu. Okay, you can silence this alarm by pressing the X button here. So it will silence for two minutes. So it's quite very simple. Okay, some of the menus are very um, straightforward. Uh, a straightforward menu okay so example uh, in menu you can find the alarms configuration so it will all be uh, all about the alarms for the vents and we have the power settings so it's almost the same if you're using a, a phone so it's the same as uh, choosing a uh, power setting Okay, and then we have the pulse oximeter if you're going to use it as a pulse oximeter monitor. So this is just an option. And we have the trigger level. So this is the same as the sensitivity. Okay, and then we have the auto reservoir. Okay, so... 
DO2 oxygen reservoir is also when you're using a low flow uh, type of oxygen pressure okay and we have the unit info uh, which shows all the the hours that the machine was used okay and the software update and we have also the contrast okay contrast is one second So this is the contrast. So it's about the uh, the screen, okay. So adjusting like the uh, analog uh, uh, cell phones before. Okay. 